Right, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you on Monday. Uh, yeah, make sure you've gotten all the forms from HR. We have to have a more satisfactory work environment. Yeah, all right. Bye-bye. Chicken looks overcooked. I have a meeting with the CEO of our partners this weekend. It's at this hotel in the city. I was considering taking you with me. And it will be a good change for you from sitting here all day. I joined a poetry class. <laughs> poetry. Anyone can write poems these days, no? Classes like those are just business schemes. Not really. I've written a few good pieces recently. I think I might have a chance to find a publisher by the end of the month. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Let's eat. As I was saying, I'm going to book the hotel suite for us this week. You don't have any plans, do you? I do have a meeting with this agency uptown. They seem interested in my work. Just push it to the next week, honey. I've already made reservation for the couple suite this week. I think there's something beautiful about leaving the comfort of the known in pursuit of the unknown to a paradise where everything feels new, where the colours around you aren't always blue. The labyrinth of suffering ceases to pause just for a moment, just because. The world may be my oyster, they say, yet it's a curse that's too heavy to bear, a darkness leading me astray. It's hard to believe how much life is happening out there. I had to pay a premium to get this for you. Come on. It's been so long since we listened to this. We should have something fancy tonight to celebrate our love. Oh, um, okay. Uh, how about, I don't know, um, steak? Oh, don't even remind me of steak. It's all we have at work dinners. Okay. Clam chowder? I'm not in the mood for that. Okay, how about you decide? Mm, how about oysters? I'm really glad we did this. Me too. You know, I've heard the uh, oysters with the champagne in it sauce. This is really good. Mm. Mm. I think this is really good either way. No, yeah. Wait, you should chew on it. That is how you get the full flavor. Go on, try that. I don't feel any different. It's the same. Are you okay? Finley, uh, can you tie my 
my hair back, please. <coughs> Finley, what if I'm pregnant? You're not answering my question. What am I supposed to say? I think I want a baby. You're not serious, are you? It's, it's, we can't just do something like that this fast. I mean, I'm barely home as of now and... What, so we can't have a kid until it's a convenient time for you? Lou, that's not what I mean, you know that. Flynn, that's exactly what you mean. You know, we can rarely have a mature conversation because every time you take what I say and turn it into something and it didn't mean you twist it. Of course. That's funny. What's so funny? I never twisted anything. Listen, I think you're having all these feelings because you're always home doing nothing. It's normal to feel useless and unproductive, Lou. A baby isn't going to change that. I mean, I told you to find a job. It'll keep I easy. do work. I write. Believe it or not, that's my job. I don't want a nine to five. I'm not you. So you don't feel useless? Why would I feel useless? Yeah, I don't earn 10 grand a month, but at least I'm doing something that makes me feel like I'm, like I'm worth something. All I'm trying to say, you don't see me lose my mind like that. And that's because I'm packed with work and meetings. Exactly. What? Finn, have you ever actually heard me? Have you ever actually given a moment's thought to anything I have to say? Yes. <laughs> Please stop fucking lying to me. What the fuck are you talking about, Lou? What is this conversation? You're not pregnant, you're bored. And all this poetry, this artistic endeavor of yours has possessed this you- This is exactly what I mean when I tell you you never hear me. I mean, for once, I am telling you exactly what I want. And for once, it's something that you don't. I mean, every single thing I do is based off of your approval. It's not true. I can't go on pretending to be okay with everything that happens to me. I can't be tied up anymore. You're not tied up. Metaphorically. So a baby's the answer to this. I feel lonelier when I'm at home with you than when I'm there on my own. All you fucking do is think you're kind of a saint with an abusive husband. Oh, I'm so lonely. I'm so traumatized. My husband's never home. I worked so fucking hard to provide for you. I worked so hard. This is how you repay me? You have never done anything for me, ever. I want a divorce. Hell isn't a fiery pit. It's the space between two bodies who will never fit. No spark, no flame, no chance of light. Only aching hope that never takes flight. The yearning that consumes, the desire unfulfilled. The gap between souls forever chilled. Is it better to be the poet or the reader? A poet is a guy sentient of all the pain and beauty around him. A reader is just a guy. I think being just a guy could have saved me from being endlessly miserable. The world is my oyster, a barren land, or perhaps an endless tide. And maybe ahead of this road, there is no light. But I found peace in this eternal night.